How to spot fake news, what is Mastodon, Pepsi's crisis, supplying the jobs using Snapchat, and so much more. I'm Kevin Oliveri, and there is a ton to talk about in social this week. Go ahead, grab yourself a cup of coffee. I'm going to do the same, and we are going to talk some social media today. Also, I got a new mug. It's nice, right? Facebook this week launched a campaign aimed at educating users on how to spot fake news and how to report it. The campaign offered users 10 tips on how to spot fake news, including be skeptical of headlines, check the URLs, also check for unusual formatting within the article, and take a look at the website itself because there's a good chance that it's actually a satirical site. With over 62% of US adults getting their news via social media, it's incredibly important for us to be able to discern the difference between real news and fake news. Facebook's fight to quell fake news has become even more important after Germany introduced a bill that says that social networks will have 24 hours to remove harassing, hateful speech, criminal content, or fake news within a 24 hour span or get a 50 million euro fine. Essentially, social networks themselves would become content police and that raises a lot of First Amendment and free speech related questions. The bill isn't law yet, but if it does go into effect, that could dramatically alter the social networking landscape for good. McDonald's partnered with Snapchat this week to release a specialized lens in Australia that allows for citizens to apply for jobs at McDonald's via Snapchat. It works like this. Users will open up Snapchat and activate the specialized McDonald's lens. Then they'll have 10 seconds to show off their best customer facing personality and then simply send it over to McDonald's and await for their response, which includes a link back to their website to complete the application. Although I don't envision a world in which Snap applications become commonplace and replace our old school application process, I do think there could be uses for this, specifically in customer facing businesses like retail. Also, I assume everyone who applies this way via the Snapchat lens does get a reply back from McDonald's to complete the rest of the application. Otherwise, there could be some discrimination crises that arise. Speaking of crises, Pepsi went ahead and released perhaps the most tone-deaf, trivializing, and pandering ad in a very long time in which Kendall Jenner, of all people, brings world peace through a can of Pepsi. Instead of focusing on how bad it was, I want to focus on two things about this. The social media reaction to it, and the importance of having a crisis management plan. Immediately following the release of the ad, users on social media responded to Pepsi with dark humor and hilariousness. There were tons of tweets that were sent out that made fun of the ad and its message, but perhaps one of the most damning ones was from Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter, who responded like this. This situation perfectly illustrates the importance of having a crisis management plan in place at your company. Make sure that you identify the key stakeholders and decision makers, plus have their contact information readily available. There should be clearly defined guidelines on how to respond and how to escalate, and the plan should be agile enough to be adjusted quickly in the face of new situations. Having a plan in place helps you react quickly, correctly, and it avoids situations from spiraling out of control. Somehow, someway, Pepsi may not have had the worst ad of the week. That honor could go to Nivea, who released this ad on their Middle East Facebook page. The tagline is white is purity. How did this get approval? Seriously. Seriously. Seriously? Always think twice before you post and please, 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 if you're working behind the scenes here and you see a campaign that's blatantly offensive and it's moving forward in your company, speak up. Otherwise, your brand image could be destroyed. Every week I talk about how the social world drastically changes and perhaps no week this was illustrated more than through the news of Mastodon rumbling onto the scene with a ton of hype. Mastodon is a decentralized open source microblogging platform very similar to Twitter. Whereas in Twitter you send out 140 character limit tweets, in Mastodon you send out 500 character limit toots. Yes, toots. You can toot publicly, you can connect and follow other users, you can participate in the conversations and share ideas across the platform. Something particularly alluring about this site is the fact that Mastodon has incredible anti-harassment and privacy policies that are established already on the platform. Compared to other social networks, Mastodon has a bit more complicated sign-up process. You don't sign up for Mastodon itself, you actually sign up in one of their instances, which are also known as federations or communities within the overall Mastodon universe. But don't worry, regardless of what instance you sign up for, you're still able to connect and communicate with users all across the Mastodon platform. There's clear intrigue and interest for users, as you can tell by the sign-ups, going from 44,000 total users on Tuesday to over 130,000 by this time Sunday. The question is though, are these people who are signing up just because of the hype and they're there to really just 
check out the platform and never come back? Or are these people who will return and become active users? I mean, are you gonna sign up for a platform where none of your friends are? If you are interested, I do encourage you to sign up and check it out and toot responsibly. And of course, I never once envisioned myself uttering the phrase toot responsibly on my vlog, but that's social for you. Whew. That's a lot to go through this week, but we did it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video with someone who might find some value out of it. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of the future videos. I'll see you next time. Cheers.